Today is December 16th. It is 11.37 p.m. And in southeastern Pennsylvania, we're having a nor'easter. It started at 1.09 p.m. The snow has pretty much died down for the most part, but it's still kind of there. But you can see by the, uh, the street lamp there, there is a constant gust of wind. We've had basically 26 mile an hour winds blowing through here the entire day. Up the road here is just shy of northeast. And the temperature has dropped down to about 27 degrees Fahrenheit. The neighbors have already cleared out their sidewalks over here. And I have our sidewalk and the parking spaces to plow tomorrow. I'm going to get the tractor going. Unfortunately, this uh, this stuff is a combination of snow and then freezing rain and sleet and all that. So this is gonna be wet and gonna be wet and heavy. But we'll try it anyway. Don't even. Uh, I'm going to have to get some different gloves on. Hoping not to have any contact with, with any of it. <sighs> Sorry, my hair's getting in the way. I don't have a hat on. Still pretty cloudy out, but the sun's still trying to peek through. Plow's right there. I'm gonna have to bring bring it all the way down to the driveway. I'll clear this out with a shovel. Might be able to get it through there. We'll see. Oh, I forgot to bring my. I forgot to bring a jumper wire out because there's a. Here's my. Oh. Got a new headlight now, new headlight lens. Someone finally put one up on eBay, and I bought it right away. Wasn't too unfair. Pretty fair price. I mainly bought it just so I wouldn't have to worry about it ever again. Electrical failure. This is the this white wire. Is the uh, Solenoid. I tried, I tried fixing that, but it didn't do anything. And this wire came apart too. I, I redid all this, but I never soldered it. It was um, uh, just a temporary fix. But that fix was done seven years ago. This wire right here that's broken, or that's disconnected goes to the charging system so I had to put a jumper wire on this so I can get my battery charged up while I'm running it. I think my solenoid might actually be dead because that battery should be fully charged. I got it started uh, the other day when I pulled it out of its spot and it started every time for like, ever since I got that new battery put in. That battery's two years old.
what I think I'll do is I'll just uh, I'm gonna completely rewire this thing. All this all the light gauge wire is gonna be replaced. And I think I want to get a new ammeter too. One that's a little more accurate because this one hasn't really been reading right for a long time for a while. There, that should work. That might rattle loose, but. Yeah, that does. Important thing is that that doesn't touch ground or else it'll blow the fuse that's over here. Alright. I replaced a fuel line on this too earlier this summer. There's so much that I could have done to this and I just didn't do anything because I just wasn't using it. I had to, I replaced this and another starter gear. The old one still worked, but it was half damaged and I didn't want to have a repeat failure. Ironically, I'm doing exactly what I tried to avoid doing. And that is pull starting it. What I do is I wrap it around the mower deck drive pulley, which is a lot easier to get to if I do it from there, but I can't. Uh, actually, maybe I can. Yeah. This is why I didn't try to do this last night while the storm was still going. What uh, froze, froze to death just with the wind hitting me trying to do this. I'm starting to notice my the noises I make while I'm breathing doing this stuff editing video I'm trying to cut it out alright let's try to get a nice big pull out of this damn I can't I can't get a good enough angle there we go Set up. Let's see what we can do. In a different pocket. Got weights on now. I've had the chains, but they, there wasn't enough weight on the back last time I did this. Heavy. 
went to work, so I'm going to clear out his spot. Carburetor's kind of meth, uh, carburetor's not quite working right. Not sure why. I guess what happens when you leave gas in it for too long. I cleaned this so well uh, uh, the year before, last year actually. All right, let's get the, the Taurus moved over there and then I'll clear that spot out some more.
about five o'clock, so I have to cut this short. I'm pretty much out of daylight. She did. She did very well. About as good as you can get when the stuff's already melting and heavy. I meant to do this in the morning, but I got I uh, couldn't get myself up in time. The wheel weights definitely helped. Last time I tried plowing with this thing, I didn't have wheel weights and I kept slipping. That was during the uh, blizzard we had in 2016, is in January. The snow was a lot higher than this. It accomplished my goal of not of doing as little bit of shoveling as possible. So, I'm, I'm good. And I discovered that the culprit, I believe, to be the solenoid because uh, I went up the street to help a neighbor out and plow his driveway and stuff and sidewalk. And when I went to leave to come back down here, it cranked up just fine. After that, it, it, it went back to its usual issues and I found that hitting that spot makes it work, although it works just fine now. That's actually not the right solenoid. That actually came out of that and the, the bracket's a little bit different, so the, I, I need to get a new one for this anyway. And I still do have to rewire this because a lot of these connections are just twisted together and not soldered or crimped or anything. So I'm going to redo the wiring when it's when the weather breaks. I forgot to mention in the update that I actually um, I did the tubes in the back tires the year before and I finally got around to doing the the front ones this year. I did that I think in October or something. I, I, I lose track of what I do. I took the tires off. These are actually the original rims. I was running those rims on that for the longest time and I decided to switch back to these ones. And I kept the original Sears tires and, I, and I, the set of tubes I bought for this I finally put them in and I repainted the rims. So those are all good now. And also it started running just fine. I didn't have to have the choke out anymore once I rolled it back into the yard. Which I assumed to be because I topped the fuel tank off before going up to my neighbor's house. And I'm guessing the fresh gas finally cycled through and it's running perfectly. So that'll be it. My, my camera's battery is... Uh, symbols flashing at me says things about the shut off so thanks for watching